hello my dear friends welcome to recycle bin tech channel today we are going to see an router it's an Wi-Fi 6 with uh, 6 serial and it's working with a sim card let us see the model and this is the model number green package model d5h ea621 and it's login ip and the login username password and the wi-fi 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz password is over here each and every modem it will be provided on back side of this one each device that will password will be separate separate and the password is more strong and too much length also and uh, the sim, sim slot it's almost here this is the sim, uh, sim slot and uh, they provided like uh, two let me uh, and uh, they provided two in which you can uh, connect the cable uh, sorry it's two out which you can connect the cable and it's for a telephone socket and the reset button is available here and another is web and wi-fi it's off, off and on, off and on button it's available and this is the power socket and the other side nothing is provided one side the sim card slot is provided and and almost this is the one and it's an wi-fi 6 it can can give high speed which the router if it's providing with high speed internet this also we can this also can provide so this modem i'm go going to configure like a router and uh, we are not going to use the sim card and we are going to use this as a router so if you are using the router you can also get the high speed because 2.4 and uh, 5 gigahertz wi-fi 6 uh, router this one it can give high speed if the modem is giving high speed normal router if you connect it will give you like uh, it will not give full speed but Wi-Fi 6 can provide the full speed let us see how to configure this one and uh, change the, some settings from inside now we are connecting the Wi-Fi to the desktop the password will be backside of your modem you can connect directly the password also will be too big and after that we can change the username password everything you can see the steps how to change after connecting that we are going to enter the IP address just open any browser like 192.168.0.1 after that type the username password which is in backside of your modem and that was also too long like a username and password both is longer one enter it correctly after that this one also we are going to the use the password also we are going to replace let us see how to replace that uh, login password also after that now we have long logged in after that now we are going to change the user uh, password first we are going to change the password for uh, Wi-Fi and this is the device which is showing it is connected like that first we select this option and from here that's about the sim card and from here we can select both 2.4 and 5g uh, from the top you can see from here you can select it's first 2.4 and 5g after selecting one device in below you can see the option uh, password just uh, delete the password which is given there and you can see that down it's written like the characters and uh, letters numbers you have to use like instruction they are provided same you can uh, keep it like that like uh, characters letters and uh, uh, numbers it will be stronger now I am going to enter the new password for this device now i have ended after that we had to just i didn't give submit because first i will change 5g because if i change 2g for the first time i have to connect 
with my computer again and uh, it will be take little more minutes so better i change first 5g after that i will change to i will change uh, 2.4 so it's better one time we can uh, connect and configure the all the settings that will be better and we'll say it's rotating it will accept we will wait to complete this procedure I will change for another for 5 GHz also just enter the password and just submit it after that we have to connect the Wi-Fi to the computer again for uh, balance settings and in this we are going to set uh, we are going to see how to uh, change uh, we had set the Mac filter also after setting this password we have to connect it again because username we didn't change only the password only we have changed enter the password here taking little time to connect while well, all done we will get good speed because it's an Wi-Fi 6 and the modem also must be with high speed and modem is getting less speed and you are connecting the Wi-Fi 6 no use just we have set the user uh, password it shows the password over here what you have set now we are going to that's only the some small settings we are not going to do over there and here you can set the IP you can ch keep different IP that will be better if you keep deeper, different IP because modem and uh, this IP it, sometime it will get conflict if you keep uh, same IP so better to change the IP and now from here you can see from here we are going to select uh, like a 2G and uh, 5G and from here we are going to replace the a name for this one after that we are going to give submit so both we have to we are both we are going to change their names so it will be better and uh, you can keep like a different name like a different name means first you can keep normal name for 5g you can keep 5g so you can see the variation in the speed uh, 2.4 you will get a less speed and the distance will be more and 5g has you will get uh, more speed and the distance will be covering it will be less so the 5g heads it will be more speed for you let's check one more time yeah now it's kind of came now it's connected we will check the another options this is about web and this is map filtering in this you can see whitelist and blacklist whitelist which you we can allow the person who want to connect and block list we, blacklist we can connect you can uh, keep that uh, mac address to uh, the person who don't want to connect the internet from here you can keep the whitelist and uh, add you can see the option add after selecting the ad you have to enter the mac address mac address you can find any back side of the router tele uh, or any television or in the mobile you can see about settings in the about settings you will find wi-fi mac address that mac address you can enter here so the uh, whichever the mac address entered here the person you can connect it or disconnect it so it will be easier and in this place we are going to change the password username will be the same and uh, the password only we are going to change from here so better easy to log in and in the password in this device the password is too long so better to keep a small password so it will be very easy to log in now we, I am going to connect my cable like from main modem to this device I have connected 
now you can see the indication of the two lights it's there after connecting this let us check in the computer you can see the Wi-Fi simple it's showing it's connected now let me let us check whether the internet is working or not now it's showing connected and secure let me open any browser just log in and see whether uh, the internet is coming properly or not it's no uh, it's not coming just uh, disconnect the Wi-Fi one time and just reconnect it again one more time just uh, disconnect and connect it one more time now it's see back to online so this is how to convert your uh, sim card modem to then router this is a simple method if you like the video please subscribe and support we'll see you on the next video bye bye see you if any queries just text me on the comment box